Hi guys, today what I want to share with you is something that I think not a lot of people talk about which is salary. So the thing is I just want to share because I also want to share some things that I did that might help improve negotiate your salary. So as a developer in a startup, you have to expect that you will not have a lot of salary because in a startup, it is usually they are trying to be profitable and they have money to burn which makes them a little bit anal about spending so that means that they will try to get people but not have a lot of salary at the first place and then they will just substitute that with stock options or you know shares that they will give out for people who stay with their startups for quite some time so initially as a Flutter developer back then in two years ago, there isn't a lot of companies who are looking for Flutter developers because one thing for sure is that Flutter was very, very new. Not a lot of company has an appetite for risk because having a new framework means you have to learn and you have to risk of having a very buggy app, which we had in the first place when I was working in a startup because first of all, I was an experience and second of all, it was a very, very new framework. So that's why my first position in the startup was an intern. And the thing is, I was really happy that I got that position because I really liked the Flutter framework. And the thing is, I really don't mind working in a professional setting uh, very cheaply. So I was earning a thousand dollars for a Flutter developer intern in a startup and the thing is I think for some of you it might be a lot for some of you you might be little but for me what really matters is the experience in a professional setting and the thing is from the experience that I went through I was really grateful because I was in the position to really push myself to learn Flutter at a very very fast pace because startups works very very fast so I was earning a thousand dollars to be an intern in a startup and the agreement was that I had to be an intern for four months. So the thing is, internship, it can last for three, two, one, or even six months or even a year. So the thing is that for me, I wanted to negotiate that I should shorten the intern. And I gave some reasons like for family reasons because I think I was the only one who was working full time because my dad uh, had lost his job and then most of my siblings are not really currently working full time. So that's why I felt that. I should shorten the intern position and they were also looking for a flutter full-time position so that was the right opportunity for me to shorten the internship and really push the full-time position which they offered me after I finished my internship with them in the same company so I took the offer and they offered me a three thousand dollars per month as a software developer in a startup and the thing is three thousand dollars in my opinion is not a lot of money as a software developer in singapore but according to i think salary.com or whatever right the average junior developer pay is around 3.6k and 3k is really at the low end so i told them the average of the salary in singapore is 3.6k so i negotiated for 3.6k salary and then they counted offered me 3.1k which I accepted because I was shocked that I'm able to negotiate my pay which not a lot of people are taught to do so then I knew that oh no I have the leverage instead of they having the leverage of controlling my pay for those of you guys who's getting your first full-time paycheck as a software developer it really depends on what you really want to get from the job experience if you really want to have more money because you value yourself your skills is much more money than the offer then counter offer i wasn't very good at countering offer i don't have any like advice but basically you never know when you try so i try and say i was very shy asking for a higher pay but i did it and in the end it worked out kind of well so i got a higher pay and the thing is for the agreement also every six months there will be a review process for my salary so which is great after six months working as a full-time flutter developer then my salary was being reviewed and also my performance and whatnot so the funny thing is that i was about to quit the job one month after the review process so the thing is i didn't really have the motivation to negotiate my pay even though a little bit of money or extra money to the increment of my pay will really help so 
they gave me a 3.6k or $500 increment for my pay which is a lot so the thing is that I was okay with the pay increase and the thing is it's just one month of increased pay so yeah my nah, I'm not really in it for the money so after that I quit uh, the job after one month of increased pay so that was my highest pay in my whole career for other Flutter developers, you might have something that is higher or you might have something that's lower. And the thing is that salary in its essence is just how much people value you in the company, how much value you give to the company. So if you are able to give more value to the business, that means you have a leverage in order for you to get a higher salary so there is tons of tricks and advice to you know negotiate the pay you can google i'm going to like you know give a description or link to an excellent video on how you can negotiate the pay but overall you really must know how much you are to the company or how much value you are giving to the company because people hire people because they want the business to grow so that's the essence of people hiring people. So that's about it. And currently, my salary is zero dollars because I'm doing my own thing. I'm building my own business. I do have revenue, which maybe if you guys are interested, you can comment down below on how much I'm earning in Udemy. So that's about it. Leave in the comments down below of how much you're earning as a freelancer or even a software developer. So. In all its answer, my advice is that if you are afraid of negotiating, just try it. You never know when you try. Because for me, once I'm able to see that light of, oh, I have the power to negotiate my pay, then you'll be more confident on how much you are actually worth. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this video about salary, Comment down below and subscribe for more of this video and that will really help me a lot. And that's about it. Thank you. Stay safe and all the best. Bye. Bye.